Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Lenia Perez and Maxim Vashilagral. This is a game from the St. Griffin Cup 2021. Perez had white pieces and he started with e4. MBL played c5 at the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, a6 going for the Nidorf variation, bishop to e3, black to move, e6 and e5 are the two most played moves in this position. MBL played e5, knight to b3, bishop to e6, f3, the most played move, not only defending the pawn on e4, but preparing the possible future pawn storm. Bishop to e7, queen to d2, Enviel cast at king's side, and Perez cast at queen's side. Opposite side castling always produces exciting games. Knight from b to d7, g4, starting the pawn storm on the king's side, and Amwell responded with the pawn storm on the queen's side. g5, knight to h5, king to b1. The king belongs to b1. Knight to b6, knight to a5, rook to c8, knight to d5, knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, bishop takes on d5, queen takes on d5, queen takes on a5. Who is better? Black is a pawn up, but black has a bad bishop and potentially weak pawn on d6. White also has a bishop pair. Perhaps a top engine can play well with the black pieces, but on the human level, white's position is preferred. It is white to move and bishop to d3 was expected. Instead, c4 was played, knight to f4, b takes on c4, has a tiny downside and that is queen takes queen, knight to f4, bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, h4, queen to a4, now threatening to take the pawn on c4, how to defend the pawn? Bishop to d3 was played, pawn takes pawn on c4, and black is now two pawns up. Did white blunder? How would you continue this position if you had white pieces? Perez played queen to e4, g6. If pawn takes bishop, queen takes queen g6 preventing the checkmate, bishop to c2, queen to d7 defending the bishop on e7, white to move. And we know that Harry can't resist going to h5, especially if there is a black pawn on g6. h5, queen to e6, offering to trade queens, h takes on g6, h takes on g6. If queen takes on e4, g takes on f7, check, Zwischenzug. And after rook takes on f7, bishop takes on e4. Back to our game. h takes on g6, queen takes on f4. The queen is on the way to h4. Queen to e5, again offering to trade queens. Queen to h4, threatening checkmate. Queen to g7, defending. Rook to d2, intending to double the rooks on the h file. Rook to c5, f4, black to move, f6 was played. If rook to b8, then b3, and after c takes on b3, bishop takes on b3, and white is better in this variation too. Back to our game, in desperation, f6 was played. Rook from d to h2, f takes on g5, and again, black is two pawns up. Queen to e1, bishop to f6, threatening to take the pawn on b2. How to defend the pawn? 
Perez played rook to h6. Queen to b7. If bishop takes on b2, then check. And after rook to f7, rook takes on g6. And white wins back to our game. Queen to b7, threatening checkmate. But in this position, white played a move and black resigned and the move is queen to e6 check. MVL resigned. If rook to f7, then queen to e8 check. Rook to f8, and after queen takes on g6 check. And blocking rook to h8 check mate. And what else? If in this position queen to f7, then rook takes on g6 check. After bishop to g7, rook takes bishop check, and black must take with the king. And after that, white plays queen to h6, king to g8, queen to h8 check mate. In this game, Paris reminds me of the games young Garry Kasparov used to play. Quite often he would sacrifice a pawn or two for the initiative. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.